we're going to build a PC. Do you like my face? Well, that's the face you're going to have whenever you see the PC I'm going to build you. $1,100, and you can play any game you want at 1080p, 60fps for the next 2-3 years. So, let's get into the parts. So, for the processor, I actually went with an i5. And it's an i5-4690K. This thing has a 3.9 gigahertz clock, and it's probably going to get you where you want to go for the next 2-3 to three years. You're not going to have to replace it. Even some of the most demanding games don't use quad cores yet, so this is definitely a good choice if you're going to go with an $1,100 build. Now, the price for this is going to be around $239.99 on Newegg, and for the money, it's one of the best processors you could get. You could go AMD, but in my experience, AMD for build over $1,000 generally just isn't really the way to go, especially if you're going with a gaming PC. I would rather you go with an i5, because in the Intel side is going to last a whole lot longer. I don't have a lot of faith in AMD processors, not because they're bad, but because I really haven't had all that much experience with them. Now that's not to say you can't get one, and if you wanted to get one, you could get like an FX8350, or you could get, you could go with like an AMD A10 APU, but for this build, it's going to be an i5, and that's just kind of the way I went with this, so now we're going to get on into the motherboard. So motherboards are always kind of an interesting choice, because there's a ton of them to choose from. And so it's like a sea of motherboards, and you have no idea which one to pick. You know, should I go with the one that has Wi-Fi and all this dual BIOS crap, or should I go with, you know, one that's just a base old mini ITX, or what should I go with? Is ATX, mini ITX, what does all this mean? Well, basically, if you're going to go with a motherboard, there are two things you really need to know. Does it fit your processor? And also, does it have enough PCI Express ports for what you want to do? Now, PCI Express port is, and I'm showing you a picture of it right now, is basically a long thing with a little tab at the end. And for that, you, you know, you, that's where you put your video card or your sound card or whatever else card you want to put in there and you need to make sure that it has enough for what you're planning on doing. So, if you're planning on doing a build with just one graphics card, you don't really need too many PCI Express ports unless you're trying to do a future-proof build. Now, since it's an $1,100 build, I do like to future-proof a little bit. So, the motherboard we're going to go with is the Gigabyte G1 Gaming 3. It's the same motherboard that I have in my computer. I like this motherboard. I've been using it since I got my computer, and it hasn't given me any problems. It's got plenty of PCI Express ports, it's got plenty of everything, and for the money at a $129.99, you really don't have to uh, spend too much to get it either. And since it's a gaming-oriented board, and we're trying to put gaming-oriented parts in this build, I really feel like that is kind of one of the best boards you can put in there for the money. Now, you could go with the MSI Gaming 3, but it does not support SLI. I repeat, it does not support SLI. The Gigabyte one does, because the way SLI works is the manufacturers have to pay for licensing in order to do SLI. So if you're going to get a motherboard and you're planning on SLI in the future, then you should get a motherboard that supports SLI. Now, we're actually going to be going with an AMD variant card for the video card on here, but if you ever felt like switching to NVIDIA, you could then do that and SLI in the future. So when you're picking out RAM, there's a whole lot to choose from as well, and that's kind of the way that PC parts work, there's a lot of things to choose from, but with RAM, especially if you're going with a gaming-oriented build, you're not going to benefit from fast RAM, so 1600 MHz is what we're going to go with. It's going to be a 2x4 kit, so it's going to be 8 gigs in total, and it's a Crucial Ballistic Sport. Now, the price on these things is $60.99, and for the money, it's really just a good set of RAM. You don't, you know, you're not going to have to go with like super overly expensive 2133 or anything like that because unless you're doing um, like After Effects and stuff like that, it's not going to benefit you. And since this is a gaming oriented build, that's really all you need. All right, so when you're going with a power supply, it's important not to cheap out, and there are a lot to choose from. But when you're going to go with a power supply, you need to go with a reputable brand, something that's going to last you a long time because if you get the wrong power supply, it will crap out your entire system. I've had this happen to me before, and it makes you want to get down on your knees, cry, throw your computer across the road, run over it with a car, and hate yourself. So, seriously, 
I can't stress how much you need to get a reputable power supply from a reputable brand. So the power supply we're going with is the Corsair CX750 Watt. Corsair has a great reputation for power supplies. You're not going to have to worry about it like dying on you in the middle of you know, doing whatever it is you're doing on your gaming PC. I hope you're gaming, but if you're doing something else, I don't want to know about it. And for the price at $79.99, it is honestly just one of the better power supplies money can buy. So when you're picking out a hard drive, I am a big fan of a dual hard drive setup. And when I say that, I mean an SSD for your boot drive where you're putting your Windows and some of your most basic programs on and then maybe like one game. Don't put, don't fill your SSD up too much because when you start getting down to like 10 gigabytes left, you start to see some slowdown in read and write speeds. But for a boot drive, it's going to make your computer a whole lot more snappy and it's going to make everything run a whole lot smoother. And then for a hard drive for uh, games and whatnot, just go with like a one terabyte Western Digital Blue nothing too fancy because you're just going to be storing games on there you're not going to be doing anything else on it and a western digital blue you could go western digital black but for the sake of this build we're going to go with the western digital blue and the two prices on these for the ssd we're going to go with the pny optima series and the price on this is 59.99 for the hdd we're going to be going with a one terabyte western digital blue and the price on that right now is $54.99. Now I saw that on Amazon and it might have gone up or down since then, but that is the price that I've seen so far. So these two are going to do exactly what you want it to do for a gaming build. It's going to run your OS super snappy on the SSD and then like one game that you want to run really quickly if you're, you know, trying to record videos or if you're just, you want the game to run really quickly. And then you're going to have that one terabyte HDD for all the rest of your games so that you can play and you know store as many games from your Steam library because let's face it Steam has cheap games and your hard drive is going to get a lot of games on it really fast so one terabyte hard drive is perfect for starting out. So when it comes to PCs you have what I like to call the family. It's all the parts that go in the PC now. Every family needs a home right? So you have to have some kind of home to put everything in and a case is your best friend when it comes to homes. So for the case we went with the Corsair Carbide 300R and this is basically a really good tower for putting an ATX board in and it fits up to a 450 millimeter long graphics card so if you wanted to go with one of those you know three fan graphics cards like one from uh, Gigabyte or something like that you can because man oh man this fits a huge graphics card it's not the most fancy case in the world but for the sakes of this build it gets the job done and at the end of the day, you need something that gets the job done. And this holds all your stuff. You can put everything in it. It holds a whole bunch of hard drives. I think I checked and it holds up to like seven or eight hard drives, maybe like nine. And you can just, you can put everything in it and you can fit everything in it. And that's, it has great airflow. And for this build, it's perfect. Alright, so whenever you're getting a gaming PC, you're obviously going to need a video card, graphics card, something to run your games. And if you cheap out on that, you're going to end up with something that's crap. Never cheap out on a graphics card. I would rather you cheap out on a power supply before you cheap out on a graphics card, especially for a gaming-oriented build. Because, oh my god, if you cheap out, you are going to be disappointed as hell. So, this actually happened to me. I cheaped out on a graphics card thinking, oh, one gigabyte of GDDR5 is fine. I can run WoW at max settings, blah, blah, blah. No, you can't. You can't do it. So if you're going to get a graphics card and you want to run 60 FPS, 1080p games at, you know, without killing your system, definitely go with something that is in that price to FPS ratio, which is between two and three hundred dollars, and sometimes two to three fifty, depending on what card you're getting. Now, for the graphics card we're going with, is going to be the R9 Tunity X from MSI. It's going to be $309.99 Newegg. Now, the R9 Tunity X recently dropped price. All the AMD cards recently dropped in price because of the whole RAM gate thing with NVIDIA. And AMD thought that, you know, this is their chance to one-up everyone. And I agree with them, honestly. The 290X is comparable to the 970. It's not as powerful as the 970 but it's almost as good and you're paying 40, 50, 60 bucks less. And for that, especially, you're going to get 4 gigs of RAM. Actually 4 gigs of RAM, not 3.5 plus 500 that runs slower. And I will actually link you to my It's Technical Update video that I did right here, and I was actually talking about the whole RAM gate thing. Now, 
that's the reason we went with this graphics card is because when it comes to a gaming oriented build and since we were putting gaming oriented parts in here the R9 290X is absolutely perfect for what you want to do with it. Alright so that's the build for this week. Now after tax this build comes out to around $1102 which is right on our budget. Perfect for everything. Now don't worry about windows. You can get decent windows keys at MS Key Store at Ticktail and I'll put a link in the description so that you can go there. You can get $15 uh, Windows keys, so you don't have to spend, you know, a hundred something dollars on Windows. Now, you will have to download Windows, but I mean, that's fine. Just do it on another computer, put it on a USB flash stick, and I'll actually upload a video on how to do that, so that you'll know how to do it. And then you can get this PC up and running. And that's pretty much it for this build. Now, I just want to let you know that, you know, this is a gaming-oriented build, so don't expect to get some super fancy video editing out of it. Now, you can do a little bit of light video editing, but you don't have hyper-threading because you're not going with an i7. This is more for gaming. But you could do a little bit of light video editing if you wanted to. Now, if you guys want future videos like this, if you guys want, you know, some different build prices, please leave comments in the description below and I will definitely look at those and see if I can upload something again. Now I'm going to start putting these videos out, these build videos, every Monday, and eventually I'm going to actually do a build log showing you guys how to build a PC so that you can, you know, get a feel for how to do it yourself so that you don't have to have people do it for you because in my experience, doing it yourself is a whole lot more beneficial because you know your computer inside and out a little bit better. You're just a little bit more intimate with your computer. Now that sounds a little bit weird, but, you know, that's just how I feel. So please be sure to like this video or dislike it. You know, if you hate me, then dislike my video. If you like me, then like my video. And make sure to, you know, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading more videos like this coming very soon. And that's pretty much it. So you've been watching It's Technical. This was PC Build Monday, and I will see you guys next time. whole lot of money and you're probably thinking, man, I can't ask my parents for that kind of money. Well, you know what? Get a job. You can get the money and then you can get yourself a con- <laughs> Kenny, why are you laughing?